Hi guys, as I promised earlier about the pharmacology synopsis video, I am uploading this. 100% bioavailability is seen in injection route. Intrathecal means injection into subarachnoid space, as for example spinal anesthetics. Acidic drugs are rapidly absorbed from stomach, as for example salicylates and barbiturates. Basic drugs are not absorbed until they reach in the alkaline environment of the small intestine, as for example pethidine, ephedrine. So in short, acidic drugs absorbed rapidly from stomach and basic drugs absorbed rapidly from small intestine. Now, sedation by inhalation route is reversed rapidly when compared to other routes. Tachyphylaxis is a rapid development of tolerance. Dose of drug repeated in quick succession results in marked reduction in response. This is seen in directly acting catecholamines like ephedrine, amphetamine, idiosyncrasy, its unpredictability of drug reaction due to other than immune mechanisms. So idiosyncrasy and drug allergy or hypersensitivity, they are different. Idiosyncrasy is genetically determined. Now how to calculate dose in child? Usually we use two rules, Clark's rule, Young's rule. Clark's rule related to child weight and Young's rule related to child age. Clark's rule equal to child weight in pound by 150 into adult dose. Young's rule equal to child age by child age plus 12 into adult dose. It's not by into adult dose. Now, N says, you all know that COX-2 inhibitor, selective COX-2 inhibitor has minimum or no role in gastritis or gastric ulcer. So, in case of um, in a patient of peptic ulcer, we will use this COX, uh, selective COX-2 inhibitors. The examples are silicoxib, rofecoxib, valdecoxib. Paracetamol has high therapeutic index and is a safest drug. In viral infection or fever in children, aspirin is contraindicated as it may cause a Reyes syndrome. What is Reyes syndrome? It's a rapidly progressive encephalopathy. Symptoms may include vomiting, personality changes, confusion, seizures, and loss of consciousness. The common side effects of NSAIDs is gastric irritation. Another side effect is sodium and water retention. And this side effect, sodium and water retention, may aggravate the congestive heart failure condition. Now, acute paracetamol poisoning is treated by infusing N acetylcysteine. Most common adverse effect of paracetamol overdose is hepatic necrosis. Now, mechanism of action of different antibiotics fluoroquinolones like ciprofloxacin. The mechanism of action is they inhibit DNA gyrase, defampicin, metronidazole. They inhibit nucleic acid synthesis by disrupting the DNA of microbial cells. Aminoglycosides, as for example streptomycin, their mechanism of action is they mislead the mRNA, misleading of mRNA. Tetracycline, tetracycline, chloramphenicol, and erythromycin, uh, they all inhibit protein synthesis actually. And tetracycline, they inhibit the initiation of translation in variety of ways by binding to the 30s ribosomal subunits, which is made up of 16s rRNA and 21 proteins. Just uh, remember that tetracycline, they inhibit protein synthesis by binding 30s ribosomal subunit. Now, chloramphenicol and erythromycin, they also inhibit protein synthesis but they bind with 50s ribosome. Now the mechanism of action of penicillin, cephalosporin and vancomycin say, are uh, that they inhibit cell wall synthesis. Now erythromycin causes cholestatic jaundice. All aminoglycosides as for example streptomycin, gentamicin are ototoxic except Nethylmycin. Tetracycline forms insoluble complexes by chelation with calcium, magnesium, and aluminium. 
so milk and antacids reduce their absorption now if you use outdated tetracycline capsule fanconi like syndrome may cause the symptoms are nausea vomiting proteinuria glycosuria tetracycline concentration in gingival crevice is 2 to 10 times that in serum so in case of gingivitis or periodontitis when we administer antibiotic tetracycline may be a good choice because the concentration in gingival crevice is 2 to 10 times than in the serum for that property local drug delivery systems in periodontal pocket we use tetracycline in acticite the composition is tetracycline and in artidox the composition is doxycycline they are used as local drug delivery system in periodontal pocket now clindamycin and lincomycin causes pseudo membranous colitis due to super infection with clostridium difficile the treatment is vancomycin the chloram clinical adverse effect is gray baby syndrome in infants the the cause is the lack of glucuronyl transferase and this glucuronyl transferase is important for the metabolism of chloram clinical so if a infant is lacking of glucuronyl transferase if he or she uh, will administered with chloram clinical he or she will have gray baby syndrome the procaine in procaine penicillin prolongs duration of action penicillin with longest duration of action is benzathione penicillin Now the examples of cardio selective beta blockers or beta 1 blockers is are atenolol acetabutalol esmolol metoprolol a beta blocker with intrinsic sympathomimetic activity is pindolol and now in general anesthesia there are four stages uh, uh, stage 3 plain 3 of general anesthesia it is preferred for surgery and the stage 1 is called stage of analgesia the longest duration of local anesthesia is it it okay 200 minutes the duration of action maximum safety dose of 2% lignocaine without vasoconstrictor is 4.5 mg per kg or 300 mg and with a vasoconstrictor it is 7 mg per kg or 500 mg and there are some color coding we use in uh, pharma- pharmacological gases the oxygen the body is black and the color or uh, uh, solder is white white solder black body nitrous oxide color coding is blue solder and body both in cyclopropane solder is orange body, body is also orange and carbon dioxide it's in gray and for air body is in gray and solder is white nitrogen color coding is black and entonox white and blue blue body white neck now some uh, antidotes of different drugs paracetamol acetylcysteine organophosphates pralidoxin benzodiazepines flumazenil digoxin digoxin immune fab opioids naloxon beta blockers glucagon iron defloxamine warfarin vitamin k and some certain poison uh, oral ingestion of certain poisons antidote is activated charcoal and the fluoride antidote is milk 
Now antidote for as, uh, anti cholinesterase poisoning is atropine and antidote for atropine poisoning is neostigmine. Dantrolene drug is useful for treating malignant hyperpyrexia. Iron is absorbed in the intestine in ferrous form and is transported in ferric form. The corticosteroids are contraindicated in Cushing syndrome and in acute inflammatory disease like ANUZ and herpes. Now some drugs with their important side effects. Sulfonamides, crystal urea, ciprofloxacin affects bone and cartilage. This chart is very important. Penicillins, anaphylaxis, erythromycin, cholestatic jaundice, Clindamycin, drug induced pseudomembranous colitis, streptomycin, ototoxicity, tetracycline, Fanconi like syndrome, photosensitivity, and dental and bone defects. Chloramphenicol, grey baby syndrome or marrow bone, bone marrow depression, ketoconazole, hepatotoxicity, INH, peripheral neuritis, rifampicin, hepatotoxicity orange red colored secretions ethambutal optic and peripheral neuritis chloroquine it's chloroquine retinopathy metronidazole metallic taste and nausea anti-cancer drug there are so many side effects like uh, bone marrow depression and GHL sedation perforation and hemorrhage phenytoin gum hypertrophy or hirsutism morphine respiratory depression, addiction, aspirin, salicylism, GHT ulceration, paracetamol hepatotoxicity, phenylbutazone, bone marrow depression, halothen, malignant hyperpyrexia, N2O, diffusion hypoxia, barbiturates, respiratory depression and dependence, atropine, dry mouth. So this two charts you can write down it's very important thank you very much for patient listening we'll see in next video thank you